Hey everybody, welcome back to Rap Reviews. We're here today at Lupe's Mexican Eatery. Sprinkle on some of that intro. Alrighty, so we're over here in Linda Vista trying out the California burrito from Lupe's. Adrian, you got those specs? Yeah, I got you. This burrito has carne asada, french fries, cheese, guac, and sour cream. It's looking to be exactly eight inches long, and it clocks in at about 520 grams. It's gonna cost you $10.74. Alrighty, let's dive in. So something I noticed right away is, at least for me, the tortilla is very, very chewy. Like, I really had to put in some effort to get through that bite. There's definitely some inconsistency on where the tortilla is cooked and where it's not. Chris, Adrian, how do you guys feel about the fries? I think the obvious thing here is that these are battered fries, so these aren't just like regular fries. Like, they, you know, they put a batter on it and refry it. I personally don't prefer. What do you think, Adrian? <laughs> I think I'm liking the fries. They're, they're kind of crispy. I see what you guys are saying about the tortilla though. It's pretty tough. I like the taste of the fries. I think because they're battered, they, they hold a little bit more grease. And because of that, they're not dry. It packs a little flavor, you know? Yeah, I will say like, you know, if I had these fries by itself, I think they'd be pretty good. I just, I'm not sure if I enjoy them like in this burrito specifically. I'm noticing um, some lime in the guac, which is a good sign. Definitely something I am a fan of. I'm almost halfway through this burrito and I have yet to taste the meat. I'm I'm really just not getting a lot of meat flavor. I can see it there, it's right in front of me. I just don't taste it. Very dominated by the potatoes and the sauces, I think. I was kind of thinking it has a sort of similar structure to like a baked potato. Like you got yeah. your potatoes and then your filling. The meat is, it's kind of hard to tell where it is. The textures are very much so all kind of just blending together. Like mm -hmm. it's really mushy in the middle, which is, I think, Good on the carne salad for being tender. The meat itself is pretty tender, I will admit. I just I just don't really taste it, so like I'm not sure if it even matters if it's tender. I think the carne salad could use some pepper, either pepper or lime. Just a little bit more seasoning or something where it'll bring out the flavor. Yeah, I, I completely agree with you there. I definitely think it needs some more seasoning on the meat especially. I'm just, it's just not hitting me. Something about this burrito, obviously it doesn't have pico de gallo. I really don't think it would make a difference and that's not in a good way because like I think this burrito just doesn't really perform on the basics. Like the meat especially, I think they need to get that right before they start trying to put in other ingredients. Defining characteristic of this burrito, definitely the mush. Carne asada is just lacking confidence, lacking presence. The fries and the, and the cheeses and the creams really are on the forefront. I mean if you like your burrito blended together, I mean this is the place to get it. I would say that the fries are going to be what's going to make or break this for a lot of people. If you're into the beer batter flavor of the fry, then maybe this is a burrito for you, but if you're not, and you're not interested in tasting all the other stuff, this burrito's probably not for you. I feel like the fries, um, they, don't, they don't taste bad, it's just they bully out all the other ingredients. Yeah, they're not nice. Yeah. <laughs> I would give this burrito a 6.4. I think that the fries are the upkeeper of this whole entire burrito, but it's not necessarily something that I'd go out of my way to go just to eat fries. I think it's fresh, I think it's tender, but it's just not, it's, just, it's not cut it for me. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with a 5.7 on this one. Just from the first bite, I was kind of already having kind of negative thoughts. I don't really like battered fries on my burritos, personally. Yeah, the meat specifically was just really, really lacking in flavor for me. So um, I wouldn't really go back to this place, honestly, but you know, I did finish it. Okay, so Richard said that the fries were holding up this burrito. For me personally, the fries are the downfall of this burrito. They have way too strong of a presence in the burrito. Overall, it just kind of ruins the consistency and it pushes out the meat, which is where I think a good portion of the flavor should come from. A lot of the ingredients are just kind of not really there. There's sour cream. They apparently, I didn't really know that until they told me. Um, <laughs> like you can't really tell the difference when you're taking a bite with meat or without meat. Um, the flavor is just not enough for the burrito. Like, just fries and guac is just not enough. With all those things considered, I think I'm giving this burrito a 5.2. Um, yeah, it's just, I, I don't know. I'm not really interested in coming here again. It, was, it wasn't like offensively bad. It just was completely forgettable. Um, all right, so averaged out, that's gonna be a wrap score of 
obviously I was spot on. So. Make sure to click on the link down below so you can follow us on all of our socials and keep up with rap reviews. Leave a comment and let us know where we should try next. That's a wrap. Oh, uh, you made sure to like the video, right? And then you're also subscribed to the channel? Okay, cool, just make it. <laughs> Dude, oh my god.